now we're moving on to Greenfield. Dave, take it away. This is a game that you brought to our attention. Yeah. And let's hear about it. Uh, let's pull up the trailer because I think people gotta mm -hmm. gotta kind of see what we're doing here. Um, and uh, I'm actually super excited about this game. So guys, if you're just listening on the Spotify, what we're looking at is a very this this reminds me of a lot of like Little Nightmares. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a very Little Nightmares kind of style of gameplay. Um, and basically, what we're looking at is it's like Little Nightmares, but like I. I don't know how to explain it. It's not like scary. It's more of like technologically advanced. Does that make yeah. sense? Does that make any yeah, sense? Yeah, I would say. Yeah, it's got a feel of like. Like that part with the uh, shark. Now I'm bugging. The yeah. part with the shark and stuff, and you're we're like we're seeing like um, we're seeing like very interesting types of things where it's like little nightmares is basically just you kind of like going throughout the world this is like little nightmares but you have like abilities and like you can mm -hmm. like like right now he's driving a boat like you can drive boats and like he had a jet pack on and you can jet pack through yeah. these things and we're seeing these like very cool kind of like animations like he's flying through there and like I don't know. It just looks really, really cool to me, and I'm excited for this game. Are you excited I at think, all for this? No, I really am, and I have some good notes on it. And so, what I think it is, is like, almost like a. So the way I kind of read it, and it, it feels like it's a fractured mind of your main character. You know what I mean, he's trying to piece together things that's going along, that's going wrong in his life. I think. Yeah. If that makes sense, that's no. kind of the vibe I'm getting from it. It's like. It's, he's broken on the inside and he's trying to piece things together and that's kind of why the world the worlds that he's in or the the it's an island that he's in is broken and he's trying to figure out why that's a good kind of analogy so yeah this game this game is going to take place on an island um and basically what's going to be happening is you're exploring this island facility uh with like remnants of lost technologies is what they call it mm -hmm. so you could see um you know we are we were going through in the trailer and you saw that clip of like the shark spinning around in the tank and like the uh the bird kind of trapped to the nest and stuff like that mm -hmm. so there's there's gonna be some very cool like technological things in here and the way that they've kind of worked this through is you're going to be moving through various stations and each station is going to be connected to a certain type of energy um whether that energy is going to be like combustion or wind or magnetic or hydro or light um each area is going to have like its own kind of feel and have its own type of like energy source so i feel like i feel like this is going to be very cool because it's going to be like little nightmares but it's going to be mm -hmm. like little nightmares but it and it's going to have more like gameplay variations to it where mm -hmm. you're gonna get into these aspects of like okay this is like the hydra zone right so now all of these puzzles and stuff are gonna have a lot to do with like water or like oh this is like the wind zone right so now these puzzles are gonna have a lot to do with like wind and stuff like that and like we talked about little nightmares is just kind of like jumping around and figuring out how to solve these puzzles the mm -hmm. this is much more gonna be like a you're gaining abilities and stuff like that as you go through yeah. the story so gaining the abilities to like we said like the, with the jetpack and to use all the vehicles and stuff like that i think it's little nightmares but with a lot more variety and a lot more um like intricate abilities to it which is really really cool i think it's sick i think and even you saying that like yes there's more intricacies to this game than like little nightmares it still seems simple but very fun. Does that make sense? Like it, it's got to feel like, yeah, there's a lot more to this, but there's, it's still the way this developer, and I'm also impressed that it's only one developer. Like, yes, putting a game together like this is insane to me by it's yourself. Absolutely insane. And just real quick yeah. shout out. It's being developed by six foot uh, giraffe. And really that's just the name of one person. The guy's name is yeah. Kyle Smith. He just created that studio in order to operate yeah. under, but this is literally one guy making this game, which is absolutely yeah. incredible. Yeah. Kudos to you. Well done. Round of applause. Well done. Well done, Kyle. Well done. Yeah. yeah. Well done. So that's why I'm super impressed with this game. Just the overall feel with this game. Um, and like I said, it seems like it's going to have some sort of 
the the story elements of this game is going to focus on like struggle and pain i think you kind of see it in like when he's coming up to that lady towards the end of the trailer like you know what i mean he's yeah. has in that and the world around him is broken but also like i don't know if you saw like i think at the end where it says like the rating and it's going to be like alcohol. And so maybe like there's some alcoholic, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. I think it's going to be deep. And like something happened in this guy's life. And like, he's trying to piece together. Like how can you become whole again? If that makes sense. I think that's like a very astute observation. And honestly, like yeah. you can like, you can kind of see it in the gameplay too, of like just how everything's presented. I mean, there's like, it's a very dramatic feel when you're looking at mm-hmm. like the color tone that was used in this game. And like, these um these like kind of the way that things are displayed like with the shark and the tank and everything where it's like the light was up front and but then you know back back in the darkness you saw the shark spinning around and it's like yeah you know is it is it a situation of like well i'm here now but like that that darkness is still with me lingering you, around yeah, still yeah. lingering the darkness is still lingering and stuff like that and yeah I think, so i think i think it's really cool yeah, and that's where I think this game is supposed to make you feel. It's supposed to have like that. I don't know. I just think it's really neat in the way he's portraying it. And it's got us thinking about it, too. Like, there's a lot of these, like, smaller indie games where it's like, just ha- go have fun. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, and I think this one's getting you to think, like, why is this guy in this setting? Or why is this guy in this world? Like, what's going on? And I think that's pretty cool with this game. Yeah. Uh, so Kyle actually did a little interview about this game. And one of the things mm-hmm. that he said is... um they asked him to describe this game right and Mm -hmm. his his kind of description was like it's like reading a book where each page is a new mystery to unlock or a new puzzle to solve and i think oh cool yeah i think that's very very cool so it's like i talked about this a little bit when we did the little nightmares three is like i love (laughs) little nightmares right um and i played i played one and two and i will be playing number three um but you kind of asked me like what is little nightmares about and my honest answer to you was i don't know (laughs) like <laughs> you know what I mean? Just play. Like, I don't yeah. I don't know. I played Little Nightmares one and two, and it's like, you know, it's it's one of those games where it's like you're nothing nothing storyline based is really kind of happening until the very end, and then the very end, like some like big like <laughs> moment happens. Whoa. But it's like I don't really know the storyline. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> yeah. and I think like if somebody were to be like, yo, explain Little Nightmares, like the storyline, I would just honestly be like I got nothing for you. You know what I mean? And I think this game is going to be like little nightmares. It's going to have those same, like very cool puzzle solving, you know, things that we're all accustomed to when we're playing games like this. Um, But it's going to have some depth and it's going to have a storyline. And it's like, you're going to be not only in, in little nightmares, you're kind of solving these puzzles to unlock the path. I feel like in this game, you're going to be solving these puzzles to unlock the path as well as unlock the story. And that's mm-hmm. what's really exciting me because yeah, I, I love these styles of games. You know, I'm, I, you know, I'm a puzzle solver, you know, I'm a chill kind of game. Like I love these yep. chill kind of games and like to have one that's going to have a really cool storyline attached to it. I'm super excited for it. Yep. Thumbs up from us. Thumbs Mr. up Kyle for me. Smith. Yeah, thumbs up for me. If you liked uh if you like little nightmares, uh definitely give this one a look over. And again, yeah, we can't we can't say enough about Kyle. Um just to, to if you guys haven't seen, if you guys are only on the Spotify and you haven't looked at the trailer yet, um jump over to YouTube and look at the trailer and just see that mm-hmm. like one guy made this game. It's absolutely yeah. insane to think that one guy made this game. So yeah, I'm super excited Very about talented. it. It's going to be coming out at some point 2024, um, but mm-hmm. it's definitely going to be on my radar. I- I'm grabbing it as soon as it comes out. 